Hello. Hello. Welcome to Astronia. It's been a bit of a break. We've been off doing some Wildlands closed beta testing. And I thought we'd take our big ship for an explore. We've got a full tank of hydrazine gas. Let's have a look, see what planets are around. See what we can explore. Uh, this is post-game commentary because I forgot to re-enable my mic. Because I'm an idiot. But there you go. So let's spin it out here. And we will see where we can see and we will go from where we can go. Oh gosh, there's this planet right there, straight off. Ooh yeah. What is it? Exotic? Well, you know we're gonna go there. Let's see what exotic's got to offer. This is now an officially interplanetary spacecraft. Loving it. This is great. Let's find a landing zone, any will do for our little bit of an explore. See if there's anything interesting that we can pick up. And wait for this one to come round. It's all green, yes. It's not in the green zone. I'm expecting it to be lush and beautiful and wonderful. Yeah, do okay. I hope I don't fall off when I come out. Uh, McKay. Well, yes, we're okay. There's so many holes. There's planets inside out. There's just holes everywhere. Not many plants. Strange organic like plants, but not like back on the Terran planet. Well, I guess we better explore and cook grief. There's holes everywhere. Make sure I don't fall down any. Let's see what resources we can take back with us. Let me see. A bit of a wonder. See what we got there. Yeah. Oh, it's nice to see that we got some uh, new subscribers. I'm guessing because the uh, Wildlands and Division content. Uh, so welcome to you guys. And uh, if you like content I've got, obviously you throw me a like. That would be excellent. Oh, let's see if we can pick this guy up. We'll take that with us. We've got plenty of space on the big ship. Um, yeah, if you like my contact uh, content, throw me a like. Uh, share with your friends. Tell people about me. It's nice to see the channel growing a little bit. I'm not expecting thousands of subscribers, it's not something I want to to promote hugely, but uh, it's nice to know that I do something that people enjoy listening to and watching in the background, that's brilliant. Let's have a look, see what else we got over here, another sheer drop. Okay, strange plants, there's some plants in, not many. Uh, some resin over there. It looks like we're just going to be taking back research really, doesn't it? On that subject, research, um, on the moon, all those little square boxes and stuff, I think uh, I've reached the limit of exploration there, so I was getting resources out of them. Uh, okay, let's see if we can build a bridge across to that interesting bit on top of that plant when we get there. Yeah, because um, once I'd run out of research in an area, it's just giving me resources every time a nugget of resource every time I go in there so and every time I put something on a research station it was just giving me a bit of a resource which is fine because I was getting some lithium helpful batteries okay let's be careful here edge across don't fall down any big holes just grab the stuff and run ah there we go right no, don't get stuck. Don't fall down. Oh, 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 that could be devastating. Uh, I don't like. No, I'm not going to cut across there. Too much of a hole. Not going to risk it. Let's get this on the spaceship. Using my Jedi mind powers. Ooh, we don't like that on that plant's pulsing. A bit gross. Right. Plonk you on there. And I think what we do is we grab a bit more, grab another one of research. There doesn't seem to be many raw materials around here. Granted, I'm not exploring much, but it's just there's no much nuggets of things. Let's have a quick look through here, see if there's anything that I can gather. Don't mind gathering stuff. Uh, ooh, another sheer drop. 
Seriously, this place is inside out. What the hell? Um, ooh, what we got here? Uh, hi oh yeah, it's purple. Hydrogen. Hydrozine. We can top up some rocket fuel whilst we're here, can't we, I suppose? Do that. Let's get a couple of canisters of that. Just top it up. There we go. And, um, right, next bit of research to think about. Oh, so after we slap this on the uh, spaceship, top up the fuel. see what's under this plant. We get a bit of a seed pod. Okay, red seed pod. There we go. Plonk you on there. But we have got still loads of fuel, so what we'll do is, I don't think we're going to get much more from here, we'll have a look around, get some more fuel before we set off, and uh, we'll set off and go to see what's up there, see what's come around to orbit drop on another planet perhaps. Just do a bit of exploring in this first bit of video before we sort it out from there. Super, another one. Oof, here we go. Let's fuel up again. Oh, excellent. Oh, this trip to the exotic didn't take much fuel at all. That's brilliant. Right, let's see if we can get into the ship now without falling down. There we go. Here we go. And off we go. Up into space. Ooh, there seems to be some planets coming round. Hopefully we can get onto those and see what they got for us. There we go. Yep. Exotic. Yes. Aha! Red one's just going out of range. We've got a yellowy one coming. What's that one? If I can see it around the sun. Bloody hell, sun's in the way. Ra radi come on. Radiated. Ah, probably because it's so close to the sun. Well, we'll slip over there and see what we've got. Sounds interesting. I'm assuming there's no radiation poisoning in this game. If there is, this is going to be a very short video. Let's choose a plot and sit ourselves down. Oh, look at those planets. The planets are aligning. Okay, down we go. Oh, God, I'm on another ledge. What the hell? Okay, there we get. Should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Edge round. I can't get past the. No, I won't go underneath it. I have to edge carefully around, okay. Whew. Interesting. Well, it's a bit more deserty. A bit flatter. There might be some resources here. Oh! God, it's the Sarlacc pit! Ooh, but in more interesting. There's something green over here. I haven't seen something like this before. What's this? Oh, I can't get it out. Uh, come on, there must be some of it I can get out. Yeah, I know how to get it out, but I don't have a drill with me. This is the first planet I've been to where I've got one of these embedded into the rock. I just want to know what it is. A bit of wind here, but uh, no storms at least. Hmm. Let's put down a beacon so we can come back when we've got the drill, shall we, I think. And we can investigate in more detail. Oh, I'll put you down. And I'm going to put you down the other side, I think. Yep. Near the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> there we go. Bing! Yes. See if I can get a little bit out just so I know what it is. Dig around the edge. I'm getting some of it. I mean, it looks almost like organic. It's the organic colour, but it's not the shape, so I don't really know what it is. Uh, let's see if I can 
get enough oh, running out of power. Come on. Not helpful guys, not helpful. No, I can't get any of it out. Ooh, what's that over there though as well? Some more resource. Okay, so this planet's looking pretty better, much better, a bit better for re general resources of that more exotic nature. Titanium. Ooh, cool. I don't really have much uses for that yet, but that's a source of titanium there. Excellent. Ooh, that's quite nice up here, really, isn't it? For an irradiated planet, it's a bit windswept, but it's got some strange resources on it, which I'm quite happy with getting. Works for me. That. I think we are on to the next spaceship. Oh, I landed right on top of a tunnel. Uh, I don't want to go in there. Yeah, nothing very interesting there. And there's coal in the side of there. Limited use. But yes, coal again. Excellent. I've got a beacon down, so up we go. Let's see. Seems quite a safe planet for being irradiated, but. We've got titanium, we've got coal, sarlacc pits, and something else I haven't identified just yet. Where else can we go today? Uh, no. No. Oh, we haven't really got anywhere to go at the moment, so we'll see what comes into range in a moment. Uh, yeah, so I'm um, the. my. Ooh, there we go. Let's go to an arid. Yeah, so what? Deserts and stuff? Arid, let's go arid. It's another new planet, we've got plenty of gas left. Lots of fuel. We can do this. Just to put on. To boldly go where no astronaut has gone before in this safe file. <laughs> and we'll punk ourselves down there. I do believe that pink bulb is pulsing. I don't like that. That looks horrible. I'm down. Hooray. Not on the ledge of something, which is even better. There we go then. Let's have a look at see what we've got. Ooh, sounds a bit windy. Most of whoa. Rolling ball stuff. I did see them, didn't I? Okay. Rolling ball things. How random. Let's see. Oh, we've got some resource right here. Big clump of stuff. What have we got? What have we got? Aluminium ore. Oh, so, ah, ah, ball stuff right away. Ooh, ball things. Oh, no. Oh, I see. There. Oh, gosh. So we've got lots of wind on here, general wind. So I'm guessing if you want to set a base up on here, wind farms. But I'm going to take some aluminium, aluminium back with myself. I definitely want some of that. It's always nice to have metal. That should do it, I think. A little bit more. I've got another spot for one more. And we can take that back with us. There we go. Lovely. And there's lots of those balls flying everywhere. So it's whoa, right on my head. Ah, run away. I get this whoa, this place can get dangerous very quickly. You wouldn't want to be sticking here for it very soon. Gosh. Let's have a look what we've got over here. Oh, that more of that green stuff. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's lithium! Ah, for batteries. Awesome. Okay, so remember that. On the other planet, they've got the beacon. It's lithium. Oh. Um. Yeah. Thinking of beacons. Let's make one for here. Again, we can come back here and farm these things. No, don't fly away. No, no, no beacon. Don't. No, come back. There. Now, I'm hoping the little bit of wind you get around here doesn't send that flying off into the distance. Oh, nothing to do for it. Up we go. Ah, I missed it. Ah, you didn't get me, ball. Ah. Alright, so that was a desert planet. Still got plenty of fuel. What else have we got left? You might be thinking about getting back to our home, but uh, we'll see how far away it is. E quite away. Oh, I think we're going to have to wait until it comes into war because there's nothing there anyway. 
so yeah just a little bit more update so we uh, got a couple more subscribers um, I do apologize for the Wildlands audio on my videos um, that was mainly because the in-game audio was so loud that it pretty much drowned everything out and I in the short space of time we had to play the closed beta I didn't get a chance to really sit down and level that out for you guys so I do apologize hope you enjoyed them anyway as just a little bit of a taster of what there is in the game when it comes and when the open beta, beta hits uh, before release I'll be showing you some of that as well obviously and hope fingers crossed finances and all that I uh, will be getting the game when it goes live uh, we can go through the uh, story together um, it's certainly a very good game as a multiplayer um, cooperative and I shall be trying to do that with one of my friends uh, so thank you all for subscribing uh, I'd like you to, all to if you enjoy the content I've got to give me a, a like a thumbs up on the videos that you enjoy uh, leave comments uh, suggestions uh, what uh, more games I could uh, show you if you wanted me to go through some games for you and see how poorly I do with them and uh, apart from that it's been really good to see that uh, people have been uh, watching my videos and enjoying some of them. I'll be back with some more Division uh, in uh, next week, obviously. I'll keep to the same schedule. Uh, don't want to go to the radiated one again. Just waiting for... There we go, they're coming in now. Uh, waiting for our moon and our home planet to come into view. And then we can see what we've got here. So yes, Division coming back as usual. I've still got the story mode to go through. I'm still about halfway through that, I think, as we get our to uh, level 30. I'm hoping uh, to go a bit further. Yeah, let's just go straight to the moon, shall we? Yeah. Um, yeah, man, wait for it to come in a bit more, a bit closer. Yeah. So about halfway through on the story mode in 1.5 I'm hoping to go a bit fur uh, quite a bit further before we get to 1.6 is released and not that that's going to change gameplay significantly uh, from what I tell from the PTS so that I put up those videos on those ones so we'll see from there but uh, see how far I get to doing that uh, before 1.6 hits and the changes to the standard gameplay I'll be reporting on that uh, one for a year so let's come wait until our base comes around. Yep, that, that sort of pink brainish thing is pulsing. That's pretty gross. We we'll just have to see what we do research wise on that. So nifty research. Ah, here we go. Let's settle down. Wait for it to come into range. And here we go. Down for a landing. Main moon base alpha, here we come. Coming in. Lovely. All settled down. Right. Ah. Hmm, I should have parked the other one at other end actually. Never mind, I've got to carry the research over now, I think. So we get that done. Start off with pink pulsing gross blob ourselves over there. I definitely want to expand the, the moon base alpha here. The rotation on the planet is much quicker so sun comes around faster so solar power is much more abundant than the main Terran planet. Also we don't get those annoying sandstorms that stop me doing stuff for about five minutes on a video. So as long as I know it's being stupid I'm not going to get myself killed every 30 seconds. Right. So what we do is yes we've got some or to get through. Do that. Set that off. And yeah, it's going to have enough space to do that. Yep, yeah, so. The sun's coming up. Excellent. So let's get everything started. And whilst we've got power coming in. Ooh, are we going to get some more oh, research, research, research? Dum dum da. No, oh, nothing. Oh, I wonder if I've researched everything. That's quite disappointing if I have. We'll have to reconsider. We'll have to see where we go. Uh, the plan is still to expand Moonbase Alpha, make it a 
self-sufficient. So what I'm going to do is, let's think, do we need a vehicle bay? Considering the copper, copper, what do I need? Aluminium. What else can we make on here? Trade platform, no. Printer. I do want a printer. Not sure I want it yet. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, well, what we'll do here is we definitely need to expand the base. So we need to bring in a load of resin and a load of compound from Terran. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we have aluminium, so let's do the vehicle. Who knows? Yeah, we got vehicle bay. Have we got aluminium? I'm sure we did. That's copper, copper, aluminium. Yeah. Oh, good. Got two. Perfect. Right, let's do that. We'll build the vehicle bay. So we've got a parking spot showing for our spaceship. We come here all the time because we use this one as our main expansion. Yes. So we've got two other items to research. Uh, which we're not going to get any new things from. Well, it's pre-alpha. So you're adding bits as they go, so it's all good news. Uh, what we need to do is go home, fill up, and then what we need to do is start moving some compound and start moving some resin to Moon Base Alpha from Terran, so we can start expanding the base, building the basic items, bits and blocks that uh, use compound, like solar panels and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me, let's see. What have we got in this one? Just a little test to see what we're going to get. Oh, it says research. Are we going to buck the trend or have we actually got to the end? We've got to the end. Right, okay, fair enough. Um, yes, lithium for batteries. So I want to make a battery for here because there's no battery in the moon base. What we're going to have to do then is go back to a normal base on Terran. Build storage. Get loads of things to bring back with us. So we make this base as self-sufficient as possible. We need that to research as well. Let's get you off there. Funny though, I'm not getting a resource. I should be getting a resource, shouldn't I? If I can't research anything, I should be getting a resource out of these shiny objects. And I was doing it here. Maybe it's because it was in, they came from a new planet. Not sure. Seems strange. Let's see what we've got on this anyway. Ah, oh, as I just said it, there you go. There's proof. Now, I don't need coal here, but I know I've got a generator at Terran, so if I take that with me when we go back, let's take the lithium out because I can make the battery here, so it seems strange. It seems counterproductive to take it back with me. Anything else we can leave here that we don't need to take back here? Yeah, the compound, because we're bringing compound back, so there's no point to transport that twice. Same for the resin. I want resin to come here. Let's put it in there for a second. Let's make sure we expand the base enough so I don't make any mistakes like the last last time when I put platforms on every end and ran out of space. <laughs> there we go. So at least we've got two more tethers to work from. Plus another one off the base there, I can see. Super. Make it back to the spaceship. having a restful game like this after a hectic weekend of gaming and something like Wildlands. So, yeah, I think that'll be it, guys. I shall be good night. Remember, like and share. Good night. <laughs>